Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt. After getting a taste of night vision and my love for tech, I bring you the Commander NV100 series from One Leaf AI. Essentially, this little electronic device clips on the rear of your scope and provides you with night vision like capabilities as well as daytime color use for recording videos and audio thanks to the Sony Starvis CMOS sensor. In full transparency, I was provided this NV100 series night vision scope from One Leaf AI with no strings attached in March of 2022. As of recording this actual review, it is almost March of 2023. They have a standard affiliate sales-based commission setup that a lot of different companies have to offer where I provide you guys with a trackable sales link or a discount code and essentially that earns me a sales commission in the end and it costs you nothing. Now unlike other channels I'm not really here as an influencer. I'm here to give you guys my dead honest opinion on a particular product that I'm sent. I'm not here to hold any bias against a company just because they're from Hong Kong. That's where One Leaf is from or they're from the United States. I want to evaluate a product to the best of my ability best of my ability and give you my dead, dead honest opinion. Typically, that's how I run all my reviews. You know, a company may provide me with a spec sheet for, you know, the battery size or focal length or any specs on the product. But in the end, all the data that I collect and present to you is of my own free thinking. In addition to this, NV100 One Leaf also offers other IR low light devices. As mentioned, they are a Hong Kong based company. And I know people generally have a somewhat negative view of foreign made electronics. But as I mentioned, I'm here to give them an honest shake. We start all of our product reviews out with our basic specifications. Our NV100 Commander is our clip-on night vision system. It has a quarter inch mount on the bottom if you need to mount it on a tripod. It has a 1080p Sony Starvis CMOS sensor. So fancy. The little LCD panel inside is 0.4 inches. It has a 60 frames per second refresh rate. It is daytime color mode and night vision mode capable. It weighs a little chonky 13.2 ounces. It is approximately five and a half inches long, four inches high, and about two and a quarter inches wide. It has built-in FHD video recording with sound. We have an IR illuminator with six settings. We also have a standard red laser. Mmm, lasers, yummy. We have an 18650 battery that is rechargeable. We have a 300 plus yard nighttime range. We have an included 32 gig micro SD card, micro USB recharging, standard two year warranty. A 12 millimeter lens version has a larger field of view, and then there is a 16 millimeter version that has a smaller field of view, but more magnification. This particular model that I have is the 12 millimeter. Retail price is around $330 and available direct and or from Amazon. Our NV100 has primarily lived on our primary arms 3 to 18 by 50 first focal plane scope with the hair reticles since I received it. In order to mount this unit to your scope, you'll need the appropriate size eyepiece adapter, possibly the included electrical vinyl tape that you're going to wrap around the eyepiece to get a nice tight fit. You want to make sure that the IR illuminator is in the 12 o'clock position when locked in. You'll tighten these little screws down over here and you want to make sure your scope's diopter ring on the back that you adjust focus is turned all the way in. This brings us to our first concern about this package is the overall length. If you don't have any additional rail space on your firearm, particularly a bolt action gun that only has a six inch rail piece on top, you'll find that getting the proper amount of eye relief is going to be very difficult. You may have to increase the length of pull on your stock if you have it, or you may not be able to use it at all in this particular setup. We tested the NV100 primarily on 308, including our SCAR 17S and our Savage Axis 110, as well as throwing it on the rear LC and 5.7 at one point to do some 100 yard testing. We had no issues with it that may have been imparted from any type of that recoil. Depending on your scope's magnification level, there may be a point 
that there is too much magnification and you may lose image quality on the outside of the panel that you're looking through on the NV100. I found on this Primary Arms 3 to 18 that 10X offered a good image quality on the entire screen. At a couple times during the review, we used it during the daytime and the image quality and smoothness was just fine. We did record some audio with this setup and I would say the quality on that is mediocre at best. It pretty much reminds me of what the original GoPro had for audio quality. All right, we are recording. So M80A1 should be above his right ear or on the left side of the plate. If you shot that, huh, not too bad. The second shot, I'll place probably where it says armor. Then our M2AP to his left side. We tested the night vision functionality out to about 100 yards and I was pleasantly surprised. Although if you don't have a night vision setting on your scope's illumination, you may find it too bright to use with the NV100. We can make out our steel gongs with it at ease and the IR illuminator had plenty of reach to provide adequate illumination. I will note that the video motion becomes slower in lower daylight if you run the full color mode instead of switching to IR. Since having this unit for so long, that gave us an opportunity to test it at temperatures below freezing and temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. We didn't have any issues with battery life and since it runs 18650 batteries, you can always carry spares. And I imagine a full charge would give you more than a couple outings if you were gonna take this with you for hunting. I feel a unit like this could be useful to you if you already have existing optics that you would like to add some nighttime capability to or if you wanna try out night vision without getting into the huge expenditure of actual legitimate night vision or other high-end offerings. It could also serve in a spotting role for nighttime use. I like that you can record video with the SD card and the IR illuminator is bright as hell. While keeping that in mind, the overall length requirement for mounting this on any gun may be the biggest limiting factor. From a pure use perspective, I had no issues with this unit the entire time I reviewed it. The buttons to make changes were rather easy to use. I was able to charge it. It didn't catch on fire when I charged it. The IR illuminator worked, the laser worked, all the different various adjustments, you know, focal plane and everything worked on it just fine and dandy. With all that being said, it's time for me to get the heck out of here. But at the end of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who helped make these possible. Number one is my Patreon and Subscribestar fans. I have a link tree in the description below, again, with that affiliate discount code to connect you to One Leaf if you were looking at purchasing any of their products. It earns me a sales commission and costs you nothing, and essentially I use all those funds to purchase any supplies I use here at the range. Number two is Mason over at One Leaf AI, who hasn't found a way to come over here and punch me in the face for taking a year to review this scope. And of course, number three is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.